In this session, we're going to perform differential analysis using FC analysis. FC analysis or LDA effect size analysis is an analysis tool used to discover and interpret high dimensional data by marker. It can be gene, pathway, or texas. It can compare two or more groups. It emphasizes stat statistical significance and biological correlation, able to find statistically different biomarker between the groups. You can see the visualization, visualization of different feature rank by effect size, representation of relevant feature on a taxonomic or phylogenetic tree, lot of features with statistically significant difference between condition. Basically, let's see analysis process. You can see here the diagram, how it works. And uh, using high throughput experiment, we get a 16S, WGS mRNA sequencing data. And then after quantification, estimation, taxon abundance, functional abundance using KEGG and COGs and gene expression the, by using prior knowledge, now relation between feed, dependency between feed and biological feature grouping. The LFC is going to use the visualization of different feature rank by effect size and representation of relevant feature on taxonomic or phylogenetic tree, and then plot features with statistically significant difference between conditions. Let's analysis principle is work. You can see here that we have uh, class one, class two, and subclass. They use the cross skull values and valicosin and subclasses and sign LDA log score. First, the known parametric factor, correct skull values, rank sum test was used in multiple group of samples to detect species with significant differences in abundance between different groups, and then use Wilcoxon rank sum test to check whether all subspecies comparison in significantly different species converge to the same taxonomic level. Finally, linear discriminant analysis LD is used to reduce the dimensionality of the data and evaluate the influence of significantly different species. Let's LDA score. Generate LFC input file we can use by using one click. There are several methods to generate input file. We can generate input file using command line mode. We can generate input file using RMD format file. The method one is using the R script from the command line. We can see in the pipeline and we can run the code and we generate LFC text and LFC text two by running this code. We can generate LFC input file by using format tool LFC RMD script. This format tool LFC RMD script is already available in the easy amplicon result directory, which we downloaded from GitHub. We can copy that and bring it in our working directory and execute the code one by one. And then we can see the LFC text is like this, like this. In result, we get LFC text and LFC2 text. You can see here in LFC text, we have class and this is our group. And this is LFC2 text, including this thing. Now, to proceed with the LFC analysis by using this input generated file, we can use online server image GP. And this is the most convenient way to realize uh, LFC input files. Now, we can see here the link is available here. We can just copy this link and paste in our browser and we can continue with that. When you will open the LFC, you can see such kind of text. And method two, you can use Linux system to operate LFC local analysis and we can run this code one by one under Linux system. Now, when we, when which, whatever option we use, either we use online server or we use Linux environment, we get uh, cladogram. And this is the one thousand, uh, one ten thousand. It's and this is thousand. We use this one. It's it's better to see and have a uh, less abundance as compared to one ten thousand. And draw different feature histogram by using this command. Let's see plot and draw a single feature histogram by using this and draw all different feature histogram in better using with caution by this. We can continue with all this coding when we go to the R studio and we, if we work under a Linux environment. So let's have a look to our R studio. Now see, we are going to generate let's see input file. This is command line make file. We will execute this code. Now see, it's generate let's see directory under result. We can see here. Now see, and then we execute this code with the threshold of 0 0.4, which use the taxonomy text and metadata text, and we generate let's see text file. Now just have a look. We have here let's see text and let's see two text. Now, the second option is using RMD generation input file. We will go to the Easy Amplicon master and we can see here the file with RStudio. We can generate 
LFC input file via using format to LFC RMD, which is already available in ECMP clone result directly, which we downloaded from the GitHub. And what we're going to do, we just copy that format to LFC RMD in our working directory and start running the net one by one. And eventually you will get LFC and LFC2 text. These two input files generated in result of both. So we can see here under LFC, we have LFC text and LFC2 text. And you can see this is LFC2 text. And this is left CTX file. So after generating these two input files, we have several methods to proceed with left C analysis. And the online web link, which uh, ImageJP is the most convenient way to proceed with left C analysis and recommended one. And the next is you can use online server uh, of left C website. And the optional is Linux server as well you can use. So we can see uh, ImageJP first, how it works. Let's open. We just, if we like, I open here left C. If you go back, you can just have to make one click here under left C. Just click here and you come here. If you don't know how to arrange your data, you can see the demo data here available. And simply, you have to go back in your left C text file and just open left C two text, copy this, and paste over here. And then you just ch click on check data and submit. It will take around some minutes to finish all this step one by one. We can see here it's processing and now let's, now you can see until or unless it's not finished, it will start, it will process, it will show you it's processing. So we can come here that what it will generate. Mostly in the result of left analysis, we use we get cladogram, and this cladogram is with more of one ten thousand. And here you can see the thousands. So the picture on the left is OTU table without filtering, and here you can see with filtration. So I think this is the most uh, suitable, and this is very cloudy picture. So we prefer that we should use filtration, and then we will use it further. Let's see here, come back and we will see here now see it takes just a minute and then we get all these result. You can see let's you get left result, left see feature table, cladogram, cladogram only significant organism, LDS code distribution bar plot for marker species, and then we can download all the results. So we can click over here and just get the zip. And uh, you can see here this is the cladogram we just generated. And this is the significant one. And we can explain here that what does this mean, that how it works when we analyze the data and we can predict from the picture that what does it mean actually. We can we generated here bar plot as well. Bar graph show the significantly different species with LDS score greater than the preset value. The, bio, the biomarker with statistical difference, the default preset value is 2. And uh, the color of the bar graph represent the respective group and the length represent the LDS score. That is a degree of influence of significantly different species between different groups. Similarly, the, small, the circle radiating from the inside to the outside in the picture represent the classification level from phylum to genus. The innermost yellow circle is the boundary. Each small circle at different classification level represent a classification at the level and diameter of the circle represent the relative abundance. Species with known significant difference are uniformly colored in yellow. Species with significant differences are colored according to the growth. The red node represents the microbial group that play an important role in the red growth. And the blue node represents the microbial group that play an important role in the blue group. Important microbial groups, the species name corresponding to the biomarker that cannot be displayed in the figure will be displayed on the right side and the letter number corresponding to those in the figure. For the sake of appearance, only the species that differ from phylum to family are displayed on the right by default. So still it's downloading. When it's get finished, we just save it and we can use it. So the next is we can all use Linux system. So we have to make conda install LFC and then execute the code one by one. And the next method is use the LFC official website online. The link is given here. We will copy this and paste in our browser and which include microbiome analysis tools such as Pcrust, GraphIN, MetaFIN and MetaFIN2, MicroPeta, etc. Because the LFC official website have many, many tools to use online. And it is best to register an account and log in from the user menu at the top. You can save your work record for easy modification next time. 
upload data through left pointing upward arrow put the file into the upload window select tabular as the file type and leave the reset as default so let's have a look you go copy this and paste here now see this galaxy page is open here we can see here number of analysis available here so we will select lefc and before that we will and we can see under lefc we have functions of lefc like format data for lefc and the effect size plot lefc result plot cladogram plot one feature plot differential feature so we're going to upload our file here choose local file we will use our text lefc text file here and then we will use tabular And then we will start here now see when we start here when we up the status you can see here it 100 percent complete we will select it and just close this now see we can see our left c text here so we can continue with these steps one by one for example if you come here format data for left c click here then you can just you have rows select which row to use as a class class no subclass select which row to use as a no subject and the pre-sample normalization of the sum of the value just execute this code now see you have format data for lefty so you can go on with ldfx size plot left c when you have ldf left side you will execute the code and then plot left c plot cladogram plot one feature and plot differential feature you will get your analysis and you can save them so this is so far we discussed about left c and the 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 last option is under left left c uh, the left c analysis but under linux server we can come because in our pipeline we have optional analysis under linux server we can see here if you come here you can see yeah Now you can see here this is appendix analysis under linux server you can use this and but this is this command will be run under the terminal of windows subsystem for linux or either you have your linux server you can execute this command one by one and then you will perform this analysis so for this we already explained that how we generate our lefc input file and how we can continue with the lefc analysis by using three ways online image jp online lefc website and Linux server. So we prefer to use image GP like we see here. We get all the visualization by using only one click and it's good then.